guidelines uh, for who can do this free and so forth. And essentially it's nonprofit uh, organizations within the city of Fairhope and where the benefit comes back to the city of Fairhope will be able to use these facilities free, but only they'll have to pay for any cleanup, security, and things like that. If that's during the normal working hours, if it's after hours, there's a nominal fee they'll have to pay. Other than that, the Fairhope Public Schools, under certain conditions, get to use the facilities free. And also, Thomas Hospital, as long as the, the, uh, what the Thomas Hospital offer is for the good, it's free, and it's for the good of the citizens, such as uh, medical screening, flu shots, and things like that. Um, and, and other than that, all other organizations will have to pay the fees uh, as listed in the current ordinances to use these facilities. That, in a nutshell, is, is the uh, resolution. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution? I move we adopt the resolution. Second. Any discussion? Yeah, I have a, a comment. Th this was done looking at a, a, a partial cost-cutting measure and also to develop a consistent policy so that everyone who comes to the city asking to use the Nick Center or, or the facilities knows exactly what the policy is and it's the same policy for all organizations. And that way you don't have to pick and choose which ones you're going to allow and which ones you're not going to allow because what we've been getting is is we get a lot of people coming in and different agencies and, and, and they're, most of them are good, uh, but this will eliminate that uh, and, and, and everybody will know what the policy is and at the same time the, uh, it, it will ensure that the taxpayers are, uh, are being protected. Well, let me ask a question. It, and I didn't see, I know at one time we talked about trying to identify these various functions that we have where we're going to provide, I don't want to say free service, but we're going to have to provide personnel, whether it be police officers and stuff. And we were going to ask that that be done so we could include it in the budgeting process. And I just don't see anything in the, in the resolution that indicates that. And I'm, I'm wondering if we've decided that we're going to go this way without having some specific time limit that they should uh, apply. On, on this particular item, I think, if, if they come in, they, they, they will pay for any security, so that will be above and beyond. So it would not be a budgeted item. It would not uh, take away from the budget. Okay. I, it, I just wanted to make sure that we were doing so. Any other discussion? Yeah, my, my issue with the, with the whole resolution is it makes the comment Fairhope-based nonprofit organizations and all of the proceeds must benefit a Fairhope-based organization or organizations. And we have so many countywide organizations that do good work here. Uh, Weeks Bay is not in the city and it does good work. Care House, Lighthouse, um, Care House for Abused Children, Lighthouse for Domestic Violence. And I think we're throwing the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak, when we, when we really make it such a finite group of nonprofits. I think if it's a nonprofit and proceeds of, and I don't know how you prove the proceeds anyway without doing an audit of these places, but as long as proceeds are spent in Fairhope, I, I don't have a problem with that. I think that we need to um, put a little more thought into that particular part of it and, and just say that organizations must show that proceeds go toward um, city residents or city limits or something. Any other discussion? Did you want to make a, a motion to amend that, Ms. Quinn? Yeah, I can. Um, organizations must show proof of their 501c3. This, this paragraph one? Paragraph one. And all and and proceeds, not all of, and proceeds must.